Hi, I'm Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new GX Series panel from Smart. The GX Series panel fills a specific role in our product lineup. It's a low-cost, interactive display that offers a number of handy tools for the classroom. Let's check it out, starting with the hardware. Now, on this side of the panel, I have my easy access ports, HDMI and USB for connecting up a PC or a laptop, for instance. We've also added in USB-C as well. Now, that USB-C gives you connectivity to video, touch, and audio, but also delivers 15 watts of power as well. We have our two passive pens here on the front of the display, and then some additional controls on the far side. A home button to bring you back to the main page from wherever you're at, whether you're on a different input or in an app somewhere. We have a back button to help you navigate easily through different applications. We have a settings button that obviously brings up the settings, but also has uh, a dual purpose. It will enable a screen freeze feature if you hold that button, volume control, and then a standby button as well. We have a number of additional connection points in the back of the panel as well. Two additional HDMI ports. Display port, two USB 2.0 ports, one of which is the service port on the display, the USB for touch, and HDMI out as well. And then more good news on the connections, we have VGA and RS-232 on the underside of the panel. And for those who are wondering about internet connectivity, we've also got dedicated Wi-Fi and Ethernet capabilities as well. Next, let's talk about the GX homepage. The GX features built-in Android computing that enables basic interactive workflows. We have a whiteboard, a web browser, and then some additional applications as well. In addition to that, we also can pull up a floating toolbar that will let us navigate things more easily. We have our home button, back button, and the settings buttons again. But we also can access a couple of other things as well. First of all, we can change our input. We can access widgets that we can use on any input. We can close applications, and then there's a draw button at the bottom of that menu as well. And by draw, I mean bring up an acetate layer that lets us draw anywhere at any time. So there's a lot of freedom here to bring up the tools that you need on the fly with just one or two touches. Let's hop into a whiteboard and talk about the touch features on the GX panel. Now, the GX does have object awareness. It is able to differentiate between my fingertip as being one object, the pens as being a separate object, and my fist or palm or a larger flat object as being an eraser as well. Now, the pens operate a little bit differently than you might be used to. The thin nib defaults to black ink. The thick nib defaults to red ink. But I can change that any time that I would like to here in the settings. We're also able to toggle our touch mode as well. So what you've just seen is that I've been using um, a, an object awareness mode here on the GX whiteboard. But I can toggle into a multi-touch mode so I can have multiple people touching this board all at the same time. Or I can change my view again and go into a split screen view as well to enable multiple people to use the board all at the same time and use their own objects uninterrupted by each other. Let's talk quickly about the rest of the buttons on the bottom of the screen in the whiteboard. I'll go back a step here, confirm, and we can talk about the rest of these options that we have here. Number one, I can change my background. So if I want to change my background here on the whiteboard from white to being maybe teal or aqua, I can absolutely do that. I can change my ink properties here, as I've already shown you. I can change my pen tip third to being a more calligraphic kind of pen. I can change my mode as, as I showed you before. I can come in here and I can take advantage of a couple of additional features. I can cover or spotlight my content here in my whiteboard. I can import a picture and that's how I access that split screen feature from before. I have a selector tool that I can tap on to uh, select specific content to move or copy or do something else with if I wanted to. I have my undo and redo buttons and then I have a page clear button as well. On the far side of the panel, we have our page uh, addition, subtraction, or navigation button. So I can add different pages as I would like and navigate back and forth between them or bring up those individual pages to, to move or edit or delete. Now let's move from the whiteboard over to the web browser. I'll come over here and tap on my home button. It'll bring me back to my main page on my GX and I can access the web browser right from here. I'll tap on that icon and here we go, we're in the web browser.
It's a great full feature browser that operates exactly as you would expect it to. I can use my fingertip as a mouse click to move up and down. I can click on different links. If I want to enter text at some point, easy, I can tap on that text entry field and an on-screen keyboard will appear for me. So very simple, straightforward, easy to use. At this point, I also want to talk briefly about widgets. I mentioned before that I can call widgets up over any input or over any application. So let's do that right now. I'll come over to my floating toolbar and I'll access my widgets here. I have a number that I can choose from. Spotlight, calculator, um, a voting mechanism, a cleaning mechanism, a uh, countdown mechanism as well. So there's a number of different widgets that I can utilize at any time. Uh, I'll show you the calculator right here. So simply by tapping on that icon, bring over the calculator, and then I can use this in my classroom environment very easily as well. I'll close that down. We'll go back to the home page, and next we'll talk about changing our inputs. Before we go any further, we have to talk about screen sharing to the GX. The GX itself will allow you to mirror an iPhone or an iPad directly to the display, or you can use the eShare screen sharing app for all iOS, Android, and Windows devices. I'm going to go ahead and use the iMirror application within the GX panel itself. I'll open up the screen mirroring functions within my iPhone, select eShare, and in a moment, my phone will be paired with the board. And I can begin to drive content right from my phone itself. And here we go. I'm sharing right from my device, just using Wi-Fi. Really, really simple to manage that. Disconnecting is extremely easy as well. I'll just pop back into my screen mirroring settings, stop mirroring. And away we go, back to where we started from, right back at the home page here. Navigating to different inputs on the GX series is extremely easy. All you have to do is come over to that floating menu again and tap on your input selection button. So now at a glance, I can tell which inputs have an additional device plugged into them. It's a little bit tough to see on the camera, but I do see an additional indicator here under this HDMI icon. So if I click that icon, it'll take me right over to my PC where I can begin to deliver lesson content right from this device as well. Now, because this is my PC, I have some different options in terms of how I want to interact with my content. It'll always read my fingertip as being a mouse click here. So I can simply open up my start menu, launch PowerPoint, uh, or maybe a web browser and navigate through my lesson that way. Or using the power of Smart Ink, I can lift my pen and begin to draw directly onto my desktop or into an application or over a web browser. And again, like we mentioned before, we have that object awareness. So I can use my fist or my palm as an eraser here as well and continue to naturally interact with my content in a consistent way across all different inputs. Now let's finish our conversation about the GX by talking about the Draw Now feature. I'll come over to my navigation bar, expand that, and click on Draw Now, which gives me the option to draw, again, over any input at any time. So without having to do any sort of additional navigation, uh, like going through a different input or opening an app, I can simply draw exactly where I am. So if I'm on a web browser, if I'm on uh, my PC or some other kind of device, I'm able to bring up this specific feature and begin to draw at a moment's notice. I can save these annotations and bring them back again to review later on if I would like to. Thanks for stopping by and spending a few minutes with us talking about the new GX series from Smart. If you're looking for some more information about the GX series, please visit our website, smarttech.com. If you're one of our channel partners, head over to the source for some additional information. Thanks. See you soon.